Today we're gonna unbox a drawing tablet called Huyun HS64. Yes, just for you guys to know that my Samsung Tab X6 Lite stopped working, so I don't wanna like invest in another Samsung tablet because I'm broke with money. So yeah, this is the unboxing video for the drawing tablet. It's it's quite cheap though, yeah. Um, so this time I didn't wait for like two weeks to record the video. I actually received this one this morning and yeah So it says on here it can connect to mobile device and also computer. So I'm gonna try computer first and then I will connect it to my Android phone. Okay, so let's go. So to use the drawing tablet, you have to like install a driver. You just need to go to Google and type out who you want driver and the first link will be the one that you need to click on. And all you need to do is like search for your product's name that which is for me, HS64 pen tablet and it will immediately show the drivers that you need to download for me, I installed the Windows driver but if you use like Mac or like Linux, you can install that one and once you're done installing the driver, you just need to plug in your drawing tablet and open the driver and you can set up the, like the buttons on the tablet I have four buttons and it will show something like this and you also can like adjust the uh, pen pressure sensitivity and everything for me this is my like my set settings that i use four buttons i use for like undo and redo and also to adjust the brush size and on the buttons on the pen i use it to like ex to change brushes and also to do the grab tool yeah and if it's connected it will show this like white lights on the drawing tablet and you're ready to go you can use it like to draw or like some i don't know i use it to draw on my laptop on here i use a 
free drawing software which is Krita. You guys can try it out. I'm actually still learning about it. Maybe I'll make like review videos about it so we can just like learn Krita together. Yeah, um, I'll show you guys like the quick process of me drawing this thing. I'm not actually drawing, I'm just like sketching up stuff. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to like get used to the like the fact that I'm not drawing on a screen. I'm actually like drawing on a on a display that I have a different display. You know, you know, you know what I mean. I used to draw on like Samsung X6 Lite, so I actually my eyes are like on the screen and the pen is on the screen. I know where my cursor is going, but this time I'm just like it's a different monitors. Like once I have to look at my screen on my laptop and. I also just like need to like draw on this surface on the drawing tablet yeah it takes time it was difficult at first but I think I'm getting used to this yeah oh and also if you guys want to know actually Krita is available on Windows and also it's also available on mobile uh, so if you like have Android phones like Android tablets or whatever tablets iPad or something like that you can also use Krita on it and yeah you also get Krita also have like animation panel and stuff like that if you guys are like interested in like watching Krita tutorial like Krita review videos let me know in the comments I would like to make videos about it because I am learning about this software as well maybe we can like learn this software together and talking about the price of this drawing tablet, I bought it for like a thing it something. Yeah, it was cheap. It was literally under hundred ringgit, so it's 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 cheap lah for this drawing tablet compared to like buying a new tablet. It will be like one k something. So I don't think it's worth it, especially right now because I don't have that much for money to spend on. Yep. So that's why I bought this tab. So yeah, again, so if you guys are interested in like seeing me do reviews about this software, or like this drawing tablet, Hugo NHS 64, let me in the comments. Let me know in the comments because this is quite new for me and for you guys. And I'm actually thrilled to learn about this stuff, new stuff try it out on my android phone this is my samsung phone and yeah for computer we need to like install a driver right but for phone you just like need to plug it in and you can just use it all you need to do is like use the free adapters it comes with the trap tablet for me i use the usb type c so yeah that's for my phone but if you need if you use like micro usb you can use the other adapters just plug it in and you're ready to go i'm using hi pen uh, for like trying it out on my android phone so basically it's just the same just create a new canvas and everything and just start drawing but just to make it easy there's like few settings that you need to set just go to the like um we there's a new update on HI Pen. I didn't know that. So all you need to do is go to the sketch setting and look for like stylus button and cursor. Okay, for the stylus button, I set it up as like brush eraser. And then for the cursor, you need to enable it. You need to enable the hover cursor just to like make it easier for us to draw. So we have like some kind of guidance to draw on our drawing tablet. If I could compare between like drawing using it on laptop and using it on mobile, I think it is easier for me doing it on laptop. I don't know, maybe because of like the size of the screen is bigger. But or maybe I'm just like not used to using this kind of stuff yet. But yeah, so for it working fine on both computers and android phone so yeah um also you guys know that i love making videos about hi pen i've been making videos about it since long ago till now 
and now they have a new updates i would love to make videos about it maybe i'll do it for my android phone since i don't have my tablet anymore or i will actually really really hope hedgeye pen developers see this and like um hoping that it will be available on windows as well like on on desktop version as desktop version i would love to see that becomes true like i i actually would love to try it out on my laptop yeah i hope sooner or later it will be available on windows because this app is really like have very very high potential and it's very like user friendly and everything so yep so let me know in the comments if you guys would love to see more videos about this drawing tablet hj64 and yeah i guess that's all for the video and here's the quick sketch i made on my android phone on hj pen yeah it, it's really good yeah we come to the end of the video i will see you again in the next video bye bye and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.